psych kit by Zoomed. Perfect. So we're going to do a unboxing. I believe you're expert at it. <laughs> right. Okay. So what have we got? This is one of many kits that you guys do, isn't it? Yes. Cool. Yes. Cool. You can tell you haven't got your glasses on. You don't want you looking at. Right. <laughs> so we've got a slideable lid. And so this is the snake one. We said that, didn't we? This is the snake one. Okay. It's for small snakes as well, worth saying. Okay, cool. So we've got Aspen. What else have we got in here? We've got... What's in this as well? It's not coming out, but yeah, it's in so there. It doesn't want to be damaged in there. So is this all like stuck onto the back? Oh, that makes it quite cool for um, displaying and stuff, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. What's this, heat mat? Yes, it's, it's, so all of this is for transport, so it doesn't get damaged. That's, that's a heat mat, yeah. Cool. What is this special type of... What does UTH mean? UTH? What, uh, um, you've got me on that one. This <laughs> <laughs> is it UTH? UTH. UTH. Oh, under tank heater. That's right. It says it underneath. Think. I was going to give you the wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> we've got uh, the... Oh, so we've got the deep dome fixture light. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, it's well packaged. It is well packaged. It I thought it was in an unboxing, not reboxing. Yeah. <laughs> We've got the Haber Huts. Mm -hmm. You can buy these separately, can't you? And yeah, you can. You can buy most of this separately, can't you? Absolutely. And, and in fact, that's, that's a good point. Um, our kits, although they come with absolutely everything and that's listed on the side there, um, it's possible to buy the tank on its own. Brilliant. Uh, it's just a question of this is a much better package than everything that the snake needs. It's to... a value deal. Yeah. Good. We love value. I use these for my mice. You do? Yeah, I breed and show mice. So you're going to keep snake and mice? They don't get on well, but. No, it's a. Potential. Well, actually, the, the snakes really like mice. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a reptile care guide. Mm -hmm. This covers everything. It gives you. Every animal, I mean. Not yeah. it, it gives you the basics for feeding, from the lighting, uh, the humidity. So yeah, it's it's a good guide, basically, and oh. you can see the animal sizes. product selection care sheet. Mm -hmm. Not bad for seventeen pages. What else we got? Um, oh, RepTuSafe. Mm -hmm. What's what's RepTuSafe? So obviously they'll need some water, and so you want to remove all the chlorine and chloramine. So that that's um, taking care of that. It's a conditioner. And plant, which one plant is this? That doesn't tell me. I need my glasses. <laughs> Mexican fi um, Philo. 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 Yeah. Philo. Yeah, so you've got different types. Oh. Go on, sorry. No, you've got different types of plants, but that's just to provide some shade and hiding, basically. Does it all, does it do all the kits come with the same plant, or is it like a... Uh, you've got me on this one. Uh, no, different kits will have different type of oh, uh, plants, but the snake kits will have the same one. And we've also got a thermometer. Yep. Perfect. Is it it's pretty, pretty nice? The thermometer? It's case, thermo yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a thermometer. Well. A precision analog thermometer. Yes, correct. Cool. What size is this? Do we know? Just like a gallon on it? Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? Uh, I'll just that. Need, uh, definitely need glasses. One eternity later. Here. It should do. So it's got UK because it's a UK plug. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so it is. It been gallons. Um, yeah, 20 gallons. So yeah. is that um, US gallon or UK gallon? That's US gallons. Cool, okay. Um, we'll accept that. Uh, 30 <laughs> by 12 by 12, so that's 76 by 30 by 30 centimeters. Yeah. Wicked. Cool. I just realised I put it back on there. It's supposed to be unboxing, isn't it? <laughs> Wait, so, so literally, you've got lighting. Stay. Yeah. You've got heating. Yeah. You've got water supply. Yeah. Um, all you need is food, really. And that. a snake. And a snake. Cool. Any particular species you recommend? Very small snakes. I mean, it's showing the... Um, Calico? California, yeah. So... Um, you want that's a startup tank. I mean, obviously, when you've got species that will get much bigger, you need you need something a lot bigger than that. Uh, but it's a good starter kit. Cool. But obviously, a lot of these things you could take with you to, like, if you, you know, at the end of the day, um, 
once your test when your snake <laughs> once your snake has outgrown this, you could also use like the the um, the heat mat, the yeah, everything else. Yeah, not just... e not everything would have to be to a bigger size, basically. But um, yeah, obviously, if it's a much much bigger enclosure, you may want to have extra lighting and extra oh, heating, obviously. But because it tends to uh, stay to one side to to get the heat source. Not necessarily a huge difference, to be honest. I have noticed as well, I didn't notice, we've got a bit of ventilation on the side there. Yes. So we've got a fully ventilated lid and a ventilation on the side. Yeah, and the lid is really good because you, you, know, you want to make sure that something doesn't escape and it's not easy pushable, so um, it, looks, it locks very nicely inside that groove there. Okay. Um, whilst, you know, other types could really easily be uh, propped up. Also, talking to Groove, we've got a little notch here. I presume that's for electronics and like, wires and stuff. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, they're well thought of. Wicked. Nice. So, we've also got a Repti Basking Spot Lamp, is that right? That's right. Uh, is that a screw fit? It is, yeah. Cool. And 60 watts. 60 watt, and that goes into the deep dome, yeah? Absolutely. Perfect. Cool. Okay. Sorry, I'll just like, take you out. Please don't take me out. Oops. So let's put it back in. <laughs> Please don't take me out. <laughs> so we've go. got our clips. Mm -hmm. And they go in there. And then if you'll pretend to be a snake inside, you can see it's quite I'm not safe. fitting in there. No, but <laughs> <laughs> imagine the snake inside. Okay. Trying to push, it's not going to get out, is it? Nope. Cool. But if you can get in there, that'll be quite impressive. Well, that'll be something for a video. There you are. Cool. Simple. Perfect. So why use aspen with some species of, of snakes? Okay. You can keep them dry. Okay. Um, you don't get all the uh, sand deposits that can you know be in between the scales. Okay. So, so for some species, aspen is is what people go to, but uh, it's not it's not going to be the choice for everyone. You know, you've got desertic uh, species that will have sand. Okay. So thicko question. Mm -hmm. It's wood. It's is it made of aspen wood? Correct. Okay. In really fine shavings. And is it, it's not dusty? It's not dusty at all. Okay. So you've got a blower that actually removes all the dust away. You don't want any of that because that's the first thing with any humidity that will get... Um, Respiratory infections and stuff. Yeah, and, and then turn into um, green, basically. Lovely. Yes. yes. Um, and it doesn't have any like residue, any like, because obviously if you use pine, it's got pine oil, it's not anything like that, no? No. And to be able to be imported in this country, it's got to be also um, uh, heated. So okay, heat treated. Yeah, so you don't have any um, yeah, any infections, basically. Any unwanted hitchhikers. Yep. Cool. Okay, and it says here it's the number one preferred snake wedding. So is that by like just generally like I, I see a lot of um, YouTube videos and stuff of, of herpetology. Herpetologist, is that what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Right. Cool. Yeah. Okay. They obviously it's generally. Um, their go-to if they're not going to use like a, a natural, obviously this is natural, but like a, a bio-realistic, I don't know what you call it, um, snake bedding, they tend to use the aspen, so. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's, it's one that doesn't degrade very, very quickly in terms of wood, so it's, a, it, it, it's something that's really used widely. Uh, and you do this in various sizes, don't you? Yeah, yes, yeah. And I know I can also use these for like um, other animals, like small animals as well, can't, can't you? Absolutely. Um, you know, uh, I, I, you see it a lot in, in various supermarkets, but uh, yes, it's the sort of thing that... I think it's a bit I think it's a bit better than like the shavings you think of. But definitely. Pine. These are... Uh, and being clean and being treated is really, really important. So okay. uh, you can get some, some cheap versions of it out yeah. there, but you may get a lot of residues and it's not going to be suitable. Cool. So it's, it's clean, it does the job, it absorbs well, and it doesn't create humidity. What else do you want? Exactly, what else do you want? <laughs> cool, okay, sorted.